Um, the guy's more liable and open for submissions. Round two. Another uh, interesting note is uh, UFC President Dana White is in the house to scout these fighters. Pushing his kicks. And Miller's obviously trying to break off the clincher, push him back. Uh, trying to work with some, some more of his stand up. Looks for the knee as he comes in. Buck is a solid uh, top game, really good at rounding, and taking guys down. Let's see how, how long uh, Miller can keep this fight standing. In a clinch. So the knees working on the legs. Of Miller here by Buck. Buck's controlling him pretty well against that um, against a the corner there, looking to secure his grip. Murphy sees enough, wants to restart him. It's another thing in the Super Bowl. Um, they're gonna stop. Matthews is gonna stop the fight and stand him back up. If he doesn't see action being um, pushed, you can't just run and call the guy. Nice right hand by Buck. Goes right to a takedown. Goes a takedown, crosses, side pressing him. Now he's gonna look, look to probably work on that cut. Looks like Buck's trying a little bit of a Matt Hughes style right there, trying to trap the arm. So he's a free shot at the head. Jason, come out the back! Come out the back, Jason! Jason definitely got to move. Oh, there is. Jason turns over, goes for a single leg. Let's see if he can finish it. He abandons that leg. He's got a good knee, but nice knee. Nice right knee, right, right in the forehead. Oh, it looks like a modified, modified guillotine. It, Buck is just really cranking. Oh, nice slam by Miller. To take the fight to the ground. Looks like that guillotine's kind of tight. It's like a ten-finger guillotine. Let's see how good. Um, Miller freeze up one hand here. Now looks, Miller looks to pay back. He's right to the back of the head, which is basically a legal move. But if the fighter turns his head away from the kick, then it is legal. Matthews is going to let it go. He blatantly goes to the back of the head. He's got that arm tight. So I'm going to look for like either a walk on arm bar, maybe a key more, a reverse key lock. Buck has to make something happy. He's definitely not um, too comfortable here. We've only got 35 seconds left. We're running out of time as well. So, And the top of the head of the strikes is legal. So Buck's just kind of holding him down, trying to um, survive the round, trying to cause him to stand up. We can get dominant position, take down the end of the dominant position. Running out of time right here. He's not making the best um, use of this time on top. It's very difficult to get Buck down. Huge nice. knees right here. I'm gonna slip in some nice, well-placed knees. Back of the head. One more, one more! Just at the end of the round right here. And there goes a round. It's a good, mil good round for Miller. He comes back. Let's see what kind of effect those knees had on Buck in this last round. So far, a great start to the tournament. We have Kai and Brennan come off the uh, cornering. Miller. Go with, uh, Kawhi Kubihe is, is in his corner. Looks like Miller possibly could make it a comeback. We'll see. We'll see if uh, J Buck uh, makes a mistake like that with the forcing the guilty. It'll be also interesting to see what the judges, uh, how the judges scored that last round. Uh, Buck was uh, pretty dominant in the beginning. At the end, uh, Miller did come on strong. Had some good, powerful knees. And the judging criteria basically is like a damage and not necessarily positional control. So I, I think Miller may have stole that round right at the end there with, the, with his knees. In dominant position there. So third and final round of our three minute rounds right here. Buck comes out of a mean face. Nice little leg kicks, staying busy. Miller. Buck comes with a nice straight punches. Nice solid leg kick there from my Buck. Seems like Jason's long body is presenting a little bit of problem for um, Jay. He's a little shorter, stockier built fighter. He's got a lot of length, um, gives him a lot of leverage problems. Really get in hold of him. Whoever goes on, they're, they're not going to be as fresh. This is going to be this is a well-fought match. 
comes inside. Definitely Buck working on the legs there. He's got a single leg. See if he can put him down. Good balance by there, keeping him up. Excellent, def excellent defense by Jason. Good combo. He sits in the guillotine. He's got it in deep, but he lets it go. It was a shallow guillotine, but it was underneath his neck. Nice knee. Jason, 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 He's got the good position. Nice tight clinch right there. See if he can use it to his advantage. Buck walking the body, looking to just kind of get those legs together. Nice suck back. in with that double. They're just under two minutes, so we still got a lot of time in the round. Here it comes. Good solid knees. Good position. Trying to get up. Buck's kind of halfway trying to secure position. You gotta watch that head right there. Good knee to the head of Miller by Buck. Nice. Good attempt to sit out. Trying to regain the half guard right here, but Buck's doing a good job keeping that leg over. Miller's trying to sneak to the back right here. Miller gets to the back. Uh, Bucks in trouble, and if he can sit down there. He still didn't have one hook in there. But, oh. Now Miller has his hook. A little over a minute left, and Jason Miller's on the back of Jay Buck right here. Let's see if he can make something happen here. There he goes for the body triangle. It's a good way to keep the back control right here. It's very difficult to turn out of the body triangle. So about 57 seconds left, still a lot of time to work in that choke. Bucks definitely in trouble. Bucks keeping his chin down. Miller's trying to sink it in. Trying to sink it in, see if Buck can... He doesn't have it, he doesn't have it under the, the chin though. It's right over the chin, so Buck's relatively safe. He still can try to get in by just clinching over here. Let's see, he doesn't look like Buck tight. really knows. It's the kind of thing that, that just slips in, so... As Buck keeps his, his chin down, he's in, he could be in some major trouble. He's just sitting there. He squeezes it tight enough, he could probably throw him right over there. He's got a hand out, he's got 20 seconds left to go. Buck's turning a little bit ready. I don't know if he gets his thing, he's gonna tough it out. He slips a hand back into a full Montaleo reverse naked choke. Jason, Good job at Bucket keeping that top hand off of his head. That's the hand that's gonna create a lot of leverage. Seven seconds, seven seconds left. Looks like we're gonna end here. Miller's squeezing, trying to slip in and trying to finish the fight, but doesn't look like he's gonna do it. Buck toughs it out. But did Buck do enough to win? It's gonna be an interesting judge decision. Looks like Jason Miller did enough to win. Good positioning. Good um, submission attempts. Yeah, Buck really didn't get, get too much to throw off a lot of body punches or really any um, nice little spray of addition on for us. Thank you. Appreciate that. But it looks like, uh, you know, Buck did, really didn't get the, a chance to really pull off anything during this um, third round, so. I'm gonna go through the judges. Steve English, Steve Hoffler, Abe Rodriguez. Very good showing for J.C. Miller. I'm very impressed. Toughed out that for early onslaught. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to hear a big warm round of applause for both these guys right here. We we'll go to the judges' decision on our first match of the 185-pound tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a split decision. Judge number one. Scores about 29, 28, Buck. Judge number two, two scores about 29, 28, Miller. Let's go, Jason! Judge down. number three scores about 29, 28. Your winner moving on to the semifinals out of the red corner, Jason! Jason Miller's strong second and third round. Come back, basically wins him the round. Unseated, unseats basically the one of the favorites, probably the favorite of the.